everyone, Stephanie Slaughter here, aka Slaughter Me. Today we're going to be talking about the 2016 Murders remake and the original 2008 French beautiful movie, Martyrs. So, as you may or may not know, the French 2008 Martyrs is one of my absolute favorite movies on the planet ever. When I actually heard that they were going to do an American remake, I was just so against it. I was just so disappointed that that was even a thought. When I was watching the movie, at first it, it seemed okay. You know, it started out okay. The storyline with the girls growing up in a Catholic kind of school, that was okay with me. You know, that's kind of bringing American culture into it. Whatever, that's fine. But then you get into it and their actual emotional connection together is just, it's not the same. It's actually a lot phony, phonier than compared to the French version. When you watch the French version of the movie, these girls, you kind of wonder if they're, if they're like lovers or dating and they just have such a, a strong emotional bond. Anna's actually more of a motherly figure and she's that ride or die chick. Like when I was watching the remake and this bitch is gonna call the police after like the shootings or whatever what what was that maybe that's american culture you know maybe we are just gonna turn our back on our friends just like that no, no matter what happens if we get too scared you know what fuck that we're just gonna call the cops <laughs> but that was one of the biggest things that disgusted me the anna character in this movie was just was just so fucking annoying. You have this scared little white girl, and I'm sorry that I keep saying white girl, it's just, they just, I guess that was the image that they were trying to paint, and that's all I saw the whole entire movie. This like middle class white girl, scared white girl, who has a crazy friend. That's it. I mean, even with the idea of Lucy having uh, these inner monsters, in the original, the monster was a real thing. I mean, even though it was in her mind, at in a sense, the way that the director and the way that it was written had the viewer. I, it, for me, I thought that was really, it was a really thrilling and scary part. When you see the that monster behind the bathtub in the original movie, that is one of the most disturbing scenes I've ever seen. Versus in the remake or the re-imaged re <laughs> it i mean it was it was kind of scary in a sense uh don't know why they they were lacking in the creature feature department on that one because that was the only creature or scary thing that they had in the whole entire movie but i i don't know it, they it, they took that that element of mystery out of it when the monster got introduced they immediately put it towards self-mutilation. Immediately. Just like that. There was no real chase scene. I mean, yeah, it kind of chased her, but then I feel like it, it flipped to her cutting herself so fast. The way that the French movie did it was, to me, was pretty brilliant. It even portrayed Lucy's suffering to the point where she did end up kill killing herself. You know? In the remake, she didn't kill herself. She fell off. <laughs> At one point she decided to just fall off of the ledge in the house. I mean, oh no, that, I mean that's terrible, but, but she ended up being okay. The one, another complaint that I do have is that everything is going to be okay. That's how I felt like the remake was. I know we're Americans and we want to feel okay, but why did we take the hopelessness out of it? I read reviews and people did feel like the whole movie was had a really hopeless atmosphere, but it didn't. At all. I mean, even when we get to the, the, the viewings of Lucy's flashbacks and stuff like that, in comparison to the French one, I mean, her flashbacks are so brutal. I mean, she has her hair cut up, cut off, she, she looks beat up, she looks like, she, she just looks like she's been suffering. Versus in the remake, oh no, there's a little girl with her hair down. Ah! <laughs> and one of the biggest concepts of the original Martyrs movie 
which brought them to martyrdom was the concept of the immense suffering that didn't happen in the remake at all. It looked like this bitch was just put into prison overnight and she got like, oh, oh no! I mean, don't get me wrong, she did get shocked. That was bad. I mean, they kind of hinted at torture with the, the Lucy role, but it just looks so weak. I mean, obviously they weren't trying to bring over just the immense brutalness of the other movie, but, but once again, why? Why did they go about it this way? Way. They also took the whole cult idea and put it towards Christianity, which I don't really care what you believe in. You could believe in whatever the fuck you want to believe in. I mean, people think I'm a Satanist <laughs> for God's sake. I, I don't give a fuck. But it's kind of getting old that we're pointing cults directly at Christianity. I enjoyed that in the, the French movie. They didn't really put it towards any particular religion. A lot of the, the the people that they were explaining as far as martyrs were, were actually atheists. And it, I don't understand why they had to put the, the chick on the cross at the end. That's another American touch, I guess, but it was completely pointless and I can't really say offensive because I don't really care per se, but it was just very distasteful for, for Americans. It wasn't even put in a, I don't know, I just thought it was immature. Supposedly, along with trying to re-image the movie, they were supposed to take the atmosphere from the last one and take some of the main points from it. But the only kind of atmosphere I did see was that, yes, they got one of the girls' outfits right, which I guess is, which is cool. They kind of got, they got the house semi-correct, although they kind of ruined the idea of the dungeon being very easy to escape. Who, how would that organization be that flawed? How? That makes no sense. They didn't even think of like updating their system or having better people on staff after having someone escape. One thing in the in the original, the whole building ends up changing and they update where the person is staying or where they keep their victims and you can definitely tell that there's no way out. No way out. They're literally chained. And one of the creatures that you do encounter in the original, she's chained to the point where even if she was to get out, she couldn't. She couldn't see. She. Uh. One of the other things that really irked me in the movie was that they decided to keep Lucy alive. Sorry for the spoilers, but if you haven't seen the original, Lucy actually ends up dying in the first half of the movie which leaves that that hopelessness through, that continues throughout the movie. There's a really important conversation that ends up happening while Anna is going through her suffering stages in the cell, which really touches base on an important idea in the original movie about, about fear and just letting go. Once Anna has that conversation with Lucy in her head that she is no longer scared. That kind of opens the, the translation into she's finally ready to be a martyr. And in this case, the martyr is just accepting all the suffering. Just she's not even, she's not creating this kind of defense mechanism or anything like that. It is what it is, you know. That is kind of the idea of the martyr that I appreciated in the original one. Not someone who is trying to save the day. One of the biggest gripes though I have with the movie is that it's very actress based. It really took away from the, the storyline build and focused more on the actresses and, and I guess the more they wanted to empower them in a sense with the American way but it really took away from the whole dismal atmosphere from the entire movie. The original idea of martyrdom, it it brings a whole different idea of girl power versus this let's kick ass. I think it's important that in the original it does mention that women are the only ones who can reach the state of martyr martyrdom. So through these like fertile stages with the, the, the age group, these young, young women can do a lot more than what they anticipate. Anna's cowardly character in the 2016 remake, it, it doesn't 
it, it's not the same empowerment that the Anna in the original had whatsoever on any level. Yes, she shot people. Yes, she got to her friend. But did it do any good in the end? It didn't. It didn't at all. And it didn't even leave any mystery. It didn't solve anything. It was actually just stupid. So congratulations, America, for making women look stupid once again. <laughs> if it was too brutal of a movie, why would you even set foot or try to even touch it, you know? They really just watered it down. If you're gonna water down a movie, make a new one. Wow, crazy concept. <laughs> it's like if someone was gonna remake Eli, Eli Roth's uh, Hostel movie, but, but no, like we can't, we can't do too much of a hostel. We can only do just like a smidget of it. So let's kind of do the storyline, but, but wait, we got to make sure that we can put it on like an Oprah channel. So let's just take all the gore out of it. Let's completely change the storyline instead of, um, actual hostels, just make it a restaurant. And then let's just, instead of anyone getting chopped up, let's just chop their clothes. <laughs> And that's just kind of how I felt with Martyrs. It was just co completely weak. That wraps up my video for this week. Were you a fan of the movie or did you hate it as well? Let me know what you guys thought of the movie because I'm seriously curious. If you're an original fan of the movie, let me know. And we will see you guys later.